In the last video, we went through all these parameters over here on the waveform. And I did mention how this ear icon allowed you to re-pitch your trigger sound to match the pitch or tuning of the dry signal. For example, if you're using some toms, each one has a different tonal characteristic. You've got your low tom, your mid or medium tom, and your low and floor tom. And each one is going to sound differently with regards to the tone and the frequency. So let's use this ear matching with some samples that we've got in our library and see how we can match those together. So first off, let me just play through the song over here. And here are my three toms that are in the song. Here we go. As you can see, there are the three toms. And when I go to my mixer, here are my three toms as well with some different panning. First, what I want to do is I want to work with just tom two. And on this, I want to add an instance of drum replacer. I'm going to play back so I can see where the RMS is. And I'm going to pull down this threshold. And then I'm going to choose a sample. So from the library, from the drum sample essential sounds, I'm going to go to toms. And as you can see, there's three different tom sounds here, high, low, and medium. This is my high tom. So let's take that sample and drag it in over here. Now we're going to play back and hear if that's being triggered correctly. Perfect. Now what we can do is we're going to click on this. Now I'm going to play back again. Now watch what happens. Now it's analyzing my audio and trying to find the correct pitch to match this trigger to the dry sound. There we go, can you hear that? So, this is the trigger, and then this is the dry sound. And blending them together. Yeah, that worked pretty well. So let's do the same for the other toms. This is tom three, I'm going to add drum replacer. I'm just gonna play back so I can see where the threshold is again. Then let's go to the library. This is going to be the medium tom. Then we're going to click the ear icon to analyze the pitch. As you can see, it's analyzing. I'll play back. Now it analyzes that pitch. And as you see, that's dropped it by 1.4 semitones. So this is the dry signal. And then here is the wet. Very, very close. Now let's do the same for the low or floor tom. I'm going to solo that, add an instance of drum replacer. I'm going to play back to see where that is. Pull that threshold down. Then I'm going to jump to the library. For toms, I'm going to pull the low tom in over here. And let's play back. Obviously, it's doing some weird things there by the re-triggering. So pull the polyphony up, pull that dry wet down, and here again. Pull that threshold down even more. It's missing some. It's quite a tricky one there because you do have sort of some low toms there. So we're going to mix the two together, but obviously we want to repitch it. That's going to analyze it now. Now, if you take a look there, that's done something quite strange. It's actually pulled it up 12 semitones. That is not going to sound quite right. If you take a listen here,
So I'm going to take it that this got it a bit wrong and I'm going to pull it down an octave down to zero semitones. And we're going to say that that low sample is actually the same pitch as the audio sound. So this is just the wet sound. And then here's the dry. Okay, so we've matched the toms. Now, let's go back. And first, I'm going to bypass these drum places. And we're going to hear what it sounded like before without any triggered samples with toms. And then now with the triggered drums. Those toms are way punchy now, but are obviously way too loud. So I'm going to go in and drop the wet signals of all of these. I want that punchiness of the tom, but I also don't want them to be playing so loud. And also I want to go back and make sure that each of these has got a higher polyphony so that when it re-triggers the sound, it's sounding a bit more natural. So one last time, let's take a listen. And I'm just going to gain stage these toms again. So that is how to use this tuning to retune some of your drums, specifically ones that have got more of a tonal quality like your toms. Now let's move over onto the separation and detection in the next few videos.